Rookie defensive tackle Kobe Turner of the Los Angeles Rams has been arguably the best rookie defensive tackle out of this past class. On the season so far, he has 11 sacks according to Pro Football Focus. He has multiple pressures, multiple run stops. And generally speaking, the guy's been a very, very good when it comes to his pass rush technique. And you see plays like this on tape often. Plays like this where he's able to lock in and actually generate separation, actually get past the guy, actually use the pass rush technique in the hands. And this is part of what makes this guy a really, really good football player. On this one, he locks in with the center, the starting center, the Giants. He's going to shed him forward. He's going to slip past the running back and then look at him get past the guard. Swatting the guard with the left hand right there, bringing the right arm over the top. Just runs right past him, pressures the quarterback. But this isn't new. In fact, against the Giants specifically, the guy dominated. He had three sacks, multiple quarterback pressures. And today we're going to analyze the tape of Kobe Turner from this past Giants game. Let's get right into it. Check this play out here. You're going to see Kobe Turner do a really nice job getting after the quarterback on this one. He's going to sack the quarterback for an 11 yard loss. The defensive tackles on the inside do run a, a stunt, although it's not a general game the way you would generally see when a guy fully loops in and slants hard and then the other guy kind of comes around. This one's a little bit different, but regardless, it still ends up working. You can see the defensive tackle here look over to the right. And he's going to start to position his body to that same side and he kind of picks off the center right there for Turner, who ends up looping around and Turner's going to end up getting to the quarterback for an 11 yard sack. It's a really, really nice play by Turner to be able to get to the quarterback. So that last play right there led to a sack, but Turner didn't do anything in terms of the pass rush technique, right? He really just kind of looped around and he ended up chasing the quarterback down. On this one, he does a phenomenal job showing off the hands. I oftentimes say this as a defensive tackle, if you want to be a consistent pass rusher in this league, you have to have good hands. And one of the things Turner showed over the course of his short career is the guy actually has really good hands. He has a really good pass rush technique to him. And here's one of those techniques that he utilizes. On this one here, he's playing the two-eye technique. And with the right hand, you're going to see him swat the guard's hands downwards. And the guard basically loses at the point of attack. So as soon as Turner gets out, with the right hand, he's going to swat the left hand of the guard. He's going to kind of pull him forward as well. And you can see the guard ends up leaning forward and he ends up getting off balance. And Turner goes right around him. And on this one here, Turner's going to generate pressure. He's going to get to the quarterback and he's going to actually hit the quarterback. Although it's not a sack, it's still a winning rep and a really nice play by him. Let's get into the next snap. Check this play out. Once again, he's going to line up in the two-eye technique. This time he's going to beat the left guard of the New York Giants. And once again, he's showing off the pass rush technique. Uh, he's going to get credit for half a sack, but to me, he's the one that really generates the pressure. He's the one that really actually gets the sack because he's the guy that really wins this rep. Right out of his stance, once again, this time he's going to slant to the outside. 67 does a great job getting the hands to Turner right away. You can see the left hand kind of clamps the shoulder pad of Turner. And 67's in a pretty good spot initially. But what Turner's going to end up doing is he's going to rip with his left hand. And he's going to kind of dip past 67. So here comes the rip right there. And as soon as he rips and he puts that left hand underneath the hands of the guard, what ends up happening is with the right hand, he's going to push the guard. And he's going to try to position his body to the left side of the guard. And you can see with the left hand, he's able to rip the contact that this offensive lineman has. The clamp that this left guard has, Turner's able to rip past it. To me, this is a really nice job by a rookie defensive tackle to rip, break the contact, get to the quarterback, and basically bring the quarterback down for an eight-yard sack. And that was the second sack that this guy had. Very, very nice sack if you guys ask me. It's a winning rep. Let's get into the next snap. Check this play out here. Once again, Turner's going to generate pressure. He's going to force the quarterback off his spot. And Aaron Donald's actually going to get the sack on the quarterback. This one's going to lose about two yards. And this one's going to actually be considered a sack. So Donald gets a sack. But once again, it's going to be Kobe Turner that generates the pressure that leads to that sack. Beautiful, beautiful rep once again. Let's break this one down. Uh, Turner on this one's going to do something a little bit different. So the center is going to get out of his stance here, and he's going to punch Turner right in the face. Right out of his stance, snaps the ball, punches him right in the face. And he's going to get the right arm on Turner, but Turner's going to remove the leverage that the center has. He's going to fork the right hand upwards. So Turner with his left hand is going to actually get underneath that right arm of the center, He's going to pick it up. It's going to get removed. And then from there, he's going to just go right past number 61 by basically just pushing him forward. To me, that's a great job once again by Turner to utilize a fork move. And with that fork move, he's going to basically pull number 61 forward. 
and then he's going to bring the arm over the top, generate the pressure, and Aaron Donaldson get the sack once again. A pass rush technique that to me really sticks out. You got another really nice play here by Turner going up against the center. Control the chest, get off the block, and make the play against the run. Beautiful job. Love the leverage. Love how low he is as he makes contact. You got a double team by the left guard, and it really doesn't work because Turner's going to control the center at the point of attack, understanding the left guard's going to release. And as soon as he's able to make contact with the center, he controls the chest, creates a separation, gets his eyes into the backfield. And when the running back here is trying to cut it to the left, Turner gets off the block and blows the play up. Once again, a really, really nice shot by the rookie defensive tackle. All right, you guys, here's Turner. He's going to get another stack here. You're going to get a game with Turner coming around. And this is a good job with the effort to be able to wrap the quarterback up. A great job with the game. The defense man does exactly what he's asked to do. Take the left tackle, hit the left guard, and free up the defense tackle, right? And it's, it's not 100% where the defense tackle is straight up uh, freed up. Andrew Thomas is a pretty good left tackle. He passes it off. But he's not able to fully get there, right? The quarterback's going to have to step towards the right because Turner is coming off the left edge. So as Turner comes off the edge, the quarterback's going to try to step up. You bring a little bit of pressure from the inside as well. The quarterback's going to roll out and then you get the effort played by Turner from the backside to basically bring the quarterback down. Once again, a really, really nice job. This was the third sack that Turner had against the Giants. A beautiful, beautiful rep, if you guys ask me. Check this play out here. Turner's going to do a pretty good job against the center. He's going to swat and rip. But to me, it's a really nice pass rush move once again. Now, the play does pick up about 14 yards, but that's not because of Turner, right? You guys can see Turner does a great job with the hands. The center here is a pretty good center, if you guys ask me. He is a rookie, so I understand that Turner's pretty much going to kick his ass because Turner's much further ahead than the rookie center is. But once again, a great job with the hands, All right? Left hand punch or swat, and then the right arm comes under the, underneath, and he's going to rip, and it's just a good, powerful move. And you can see Turner has the quick feet. He has good balance to go around, guys. And once again, he's going to generate pressure. Of course, this was not a sack, but... You know, three sacks this game, multiple pressures, a couple quarterback hits. The guy had a phenomenal game against the Giants. On this one here, Turner does a really nice job once again, right? So what Turner's going to do within this rep, to me, is absolutely impressive. Uh, so I'm going to slow this play down. The first thing you're going to notice is the Sanders actually going to utilize what is referred to as a ghost move. So the Sanders is going to put the left hand up. Turner is going to try to swap that hand down with his right hand right there. And Turner basically misses. Because the center is just trying to fake a punch. He's trying to fake Turner. And he's trying to get Turner off balance. Now, after Turner misses the initial punch, the center is going to then bring the left hand up once again. And this time, he's going to try to lock in with Turner. But if you guys keep an eye on Turner's right hand, this time he's going to actually punch once again a second time. And he's going to knock the hand down of the center. Now, this is what's most impressive to me about Turner. It's that he misses the first time, but he's so quick with his hands that a second time... It actually lands, right? Most of the time, what happens when these centers do these ghost moves is these defensive tackles get off balance and then they end up locking back in. And the D tackles stay off balance, but on this one, that's not the case. And Turner's powerful. I mean, look at this. He's going to swat the right hand here of the center, and the center basically ends up leaning forward right there. He basically falls forward into Turner. So that's a great job right there by Kobe Turner to be able to force the center to kind of get off balance and fall forward. And then Turner kind of just swims over the top, gets past him. And of course, the quarterback gets out of there. But to me, Turner still wins his rep. So that's a great job by the rookie defensive tackle. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap this video up with a couple more plays. But I do want to just kind of make this point on this play here specifically. So on this one, Aaron Donald is actually going to get a nine-yard sack. Uh, he's going to beat the shit out of the right guard on this one. Just a beautiful move, in my opinion, by the best defensive tackle in the NFL. But there's something interesting that happens on this play that I think some people are going to miss. So on this play here, you're actually going to end up getting a double team on Kobe Turner, the rookie defensive tackle. Now, this is due to the slide protections, the slides to the left. But what that means is the right guard and the D tackle here are going to be in a one-on-one. -on -one. And anytime Aaron Donald is in a one-on-one -on -one with any guard, majority of the time he's going to kick his ass, right? And in this instance here, he obviously wins. And the point I'm trying to make is, Kobe Turner has massive upside. He has the type of upside where you will have to start double teaming him, right? The guy has 11 sacks as a rookie. Imagine what happens when he goes 
into his rookie offseason and he starts to practice more technique. He starts to get stronger. He starts to put on weight. He gets faster and quicker and he comes into year two knowing what to expect and what offensive linemen try to do. How much harder is it going to be to block this guy? Some people have said Kobe Turner could be better than Aaron Donald within like one or two years. And I'm not going to say I, I would disagree with that. Of course, Aaron Donald's a great football player. No, don't get me wrong. But Kobe Turner has some very similar upside. The guy's a rookie. I want you guys to keep that in mind. He's had a phenomenal rookie season. I want to wrap the video up. With this final play right here, uh, you're going to get Turner lined up over the center. You're going to get Aaron Donald lined up in the three technique. And just watch both of these guys dominate this play right here. This is a second and one. And Saquon Barkley is going to pick up no yards on this one. Both of the defensive tackles here just dominate. Right? They end up winning. One holds up the center, the other one holds up the right guard. And this is what you'd expect out of two guys that are as good as these two guys, right? Aaron Donald does a great job controlling the right guard. Kobe Turner is going to toss the center here to the side. Just a beautiful job to set himself up in the gap. And both guys make the play on Barkley, and they basically hold him from being able to pick the first down up. To me, I love Kobe Turner's tape. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will be covering the Rams more on this channel. So if this is the first time you're on this channel, do consider subscribing. Make sure to turn notifications on. And I will see you guys next time with another video.